Uh, so this is absolutely within top 24, uh, which is awesome. Good for Noku. Good for Carflow as well. We saw their victories over. Uh, we saw their victories on stream as we get to see them come at each other. Easy Squirtle combos to start and solid opening overall. This is just like what you want to see for Squirtle on this uh, in this matchup. You want to see an early 60. You want to see these four tilts make Roy hard to hit you. Because things like falling up air can hit, but you got to be perfect with them. Yeah, I mean, especially with the fast faller nature of Roy, going to be making these Squirtle combos just so potent. And Squirtle is actually going to be the thing that takes Carflow's first stock. Only 7% on Noku right now. Yeah, that's... I, Squirtle stocks are so good because the characters... Everybody knows the character's insane. Like, you do 50 off of a straight hit. It's yeah. crazy. But closing out stocks can be really trouble for Squirtle to get because you almost have to for, you have to force a read on yourself to do so, whether it be with four tilt tech chase or a read on the recovery. But if you're able to find them, and if you're able to find them consistently, Squirtle goes from being a amazing opening act to a closer as well. Oh, just barely not able to get the finishing hit of the neutral air. I think that definitely would have been the stock for Carflow, but instead Carflow finding the jab back air on the much larger Ivysaur. I mean, bringing things to even stocks, but at the ledge again, Noku has just been killing it at the ledge thus far. Yeah, just squirtling all over the place, and it's working out like a charm right now, bouncing back and forth these up airs, though. Carflow you get a lot of reward off of any single hit as Roy here. And it's starting off pretty good. Excellent frame trap from Carflow. Now, what do you do on ledge here? You get real close and you eat a getup attack. Okay, almost. We'll get him <laughs> next time. Tried to get the jab, but... <laughs> All right, walling Noku out with the side B. But Carflow has really been trying to play this, like, grounded footsies with Noku thus far. There we go. That's the finishing neutral air we wanted to see before. And now Noku, once again, with a stock lead, has to find his way back with the Charizard. You know, has to find a uh, an excuse to be able to get back into the Squirtle, but the side B on the shield potentially going to be giving Noku the opportunity, but instead he tries to go out for kind of a greedy back air. And I think that is actually what caused Noku to lose that second stock, was not taking the opportunity to go back into Squirtle there. I kind of wanted a down air there. Yeah. Instead of a go, like, with back air, double jump down air. Either way, it's a... Another life, another universe that we can postulate for, but we got to live in the moment right here as Noku is in a suddenly very even game, and the DI in mixing up Noku there, and Carflow was able to get an up smash out of it. But this grounded game is working out well so far. Maybe getting an anti-air and a frame trap instead with that falling neutral air. Squirtle just so hard to deal with, but also reaching 61, and on the ledge against Roy. Be careful, but Noku just fighting his way out has Ivysaur at the ledge again. But now you've, you've given up the, the Squirtle frame data, and now I have to go back through the Charizard, which is Carflow is eating this Charizard for lunch right now. Oh, the dagger pressure. I like that a lot. Just going with the one, two, forcing scrambles. What a back air. Almost catching Noku off to off target there. The ledge trump as well, but the ledge trump DI was there instead for Noku. As we get down to the scrambles, Charizard is can be such a difference maker though. Any one of these forward tilts, you can survive a couple big hits from Roy. Ooh. Oh, these haymakers are coming out, though. Another one? No, I was ready for another up smash, but Noku trying to be one step ahead. There was the up smash, though, getting intercepted by the soft hit of Jab, and then he extends upwards, not waiting for the falling there, beating Noku to the punch, and closing out game one. Absolutely great stuff from Carflow. Wow. So, so well done, especially given Carflo how that first stock resolved for Noku, um, just in such an advantage. Carful had to basically will their way back in stock two, but by doing it in stock two, you could take advantage of maybe some frail, uh, some frail mentality ideas of like, hey, you threw this lead real hard, now you gotta cope with that. Mm -hmm. You gotta cope with that fact while I'm also on you. Yeah, Roy is definitely not a character that lets you take your time and think no. at all. <laughs> As he shouldn't be. Roy is a, he's a rushdown sortie and that does a lot of damage. His hits are active forever. Like the strengths of this character cannot be understated. And while yes, there are weaknesses that you can take advantage of, things like the linear recovery, in practice, he becomes so much more gratifying and so much and is so much more applicable. 
because without that exact frame one switch, that's, <laughs> yeah. a, that's a gone stock. <laughs> Great spacing from Carflow to avoid all of the Ivysaur edge guarding, but has to make his way back into center stage. Just able to make it right through. Jab back air, not going to be doing it quite yet. But now Noku once again stuck with the Charizard. I feel like the Charizard just did not do Noku many favors in that game one. I mean, you're going to be living that side B a little bit longer. But, all right, actually waits out the Pokemon switch. Not just wakes out, what waits it out, traps it. Mm -hmm. For jab, back air, true combo, but, well, mostly a true combo and something you absolutely have to avoid. The switch is there, but so was Carflow. Taking all of that momentum from game one and turning it into gas. And uh, oh boy, is he stepping on that gas pedal. All right. Gotta take over the game with Squirtle again. Noku needing this stock, needing this ledge trap, something to open up a big down smash. Can you close out it? Yes, you can. That's a dead, that should be a gone Roy. And Very it is. gone. You know, just going out there with the Ivysaur down air, making sure that the Roy can't make it back. Yeah. But now we're back into the Squirtle. This is, this is what I wanted to see more from game one is Noku using this Squirtle to, you know, just make Roy regret being a fast faller in this game. Yeah, gotta take advantage of that combo weight if you are a hard combo character like Squirtle. But man, another falling up air. Not only was it great for an A-land, it also got Carfo out of that situation on top with a great parry. Noku trying a mix-up there with Ivysaur. Carfo was on it. Oh, that was an aggressive mix-up though, and we've seen what Charizard can do. While Roy can certainly shut down big body characters like this, Charizard can also kill you with a thought. And a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, falling up air, that was sick. I wonder, what, what was he cooking with that neutral air after, too? All right, now has Carflow off stage, but chooses to cover low, and Carflow went high. All right, and this another simil similar and simple recovery route, taking advantage of, that, of the armor that Fly has available to it. Wow, a get him attack. Super clean, super cheeky stuff there from Noku. As they, I think they, uh, from Carflow, as they think they missed their dash in order to find a punish. Letting the up smash rip, and it's not going to find the stop Carflow with an up tilt. Yep, now Carflow potentially has Noku on his winner's side stock. If he can keep up that momentum that we saw against the Squirtle in stock two, definitely going to be sitting pretty here in this, in this game two. Carflow doing right. such an excellent job of spacing out Noku here. I almost want to see Carflow, like... Mix it and give one devious mix up. Like, I love the DI up though, and you're able to get a huge whiff punish. Squirtle is effectively nullified, Ooh. and this Ivysaur has got to put in the work now. But against the speed of Roy, the Charizard switch makes a lot of sense. Yep, back into Charizard. Noku has to think about survivability at this point, and also looking for the stock as well. Not able to find the back air out of shield. Okay, DI mix up, I think, with the uh, forward throw. Not able to get the. Wow, he's Ooh. pressing buttons, but the uh, the sour spot misses on the part of uh, missing the sweet spot, missing the stock on the part of Carflow. But they're in such a commanding position, just taking advantage of the fact that they have gathered so much data on the part of Noku that they can call out very clearly some of these defensive options that Noku's been showing. And that 158 won anything takes the stop yeah. and an up air will Especially with it. Roy. Also, I just want to point out, I don't think I've ever seen Charizard jab kill off the top. That's a new one for me. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that either. First time for everything, and there's a first time coming soon, I suppose, for Noku, but not following it to Carflow. And in a, in a close set, all things considered, that game one was a steal, and that game two was just showing off the strengths of Roy, who I will always say is an insanely good character and is being undervalued right now just because the Fighter Pass 2 meta can mm -hmm. be a little bit hard for for every character, and Roy specifically has uh, a little bit of struggles with some of the more common ones. Uh, Aegis can do a lot of the same things that Roy does, but maybe a little bit more... A little bit more button heavy. Uh, mm -hmm. Kazia exists and is just struggles when you're trying to wall out with aerials. And Kazia says, "My entire upper body is invulnerable." <laughs> yeah, that's a little hard. <laughs> but make no mistake, Roy is an incredibly strong character, incredibly practical, and incredibly good at a lot of things. And Carfo displays that excellently. Absolutely.
Oh, but with that set, the first set of top 24 being done, uh, I'm going to step off in replacement for Mataneva. Shoutouts. Round of applause for <laughs> that. So don't go anywhere. More top 24 is going to be back. Force Armor will still be here. Give him your round of applause as well, as we'll be right back.